A second comeback fight, this time against a white American, Jeff Jordan, a former plumber who only took up boxing at the age of 25 to get some money to complete his university studies in microbiology. Well, Bruno got a rousing reception from the Albert Hall fans. Let's join it at the start of a scheduled 10 rounds. I'm Frank Bruno, tonight for once meeting a man considerably lighter than he is. Though he looks quite a bulky customer, Jeff Jordan. This white American weighs only 14 stone 7 and 3 quarters and he comes into the ring 22 and a quarter pounds lighter than big Frank Bruno who goes 16 stone 2. This is the second and uh, the second confidence booster fight for Bruno after the uh, the bone crushing performance James Bone Crusher Smith knocked him out in 10 rounds back in May and dented the 100% winning record of Big Frank. Jordan came to professional boxing late in life. He's 30 years old now. A couple of inches shorter than Bruno. Gone back to university to uh, study medicine. Needs a bit of money to keep his studies going. And so he's taken up professional fighting late in life. He's a married man with four children. Jordan from Columbus, Ohio. Twenty pro fights behind him, Jordan. Three defeats. Not a bad record on paper, but when you look at the opponents, there aren't many of them that you've ever heard of. The big ramming left hand of Bruno getting to work in the American's face. take them. And already the Americans face particularly under the eyes very reddened and bumpy. There's an escape from that ramrod of a left hand. Well, we've seen men fold up before this from those sort of right hands from Bruno, so Jordan at least is uh, showing a little bit of durability in that first round. And it was walked, absolutely walked by Bruno, who didn't look as though any confidence was lacking there. His 24th professional fight tonight, 22 wins and just that one defeat behind him. While Bruno was scoring with every sort of uh, punch there, and these big ones to the head. Good punches, but nonetheless, Jordan took them well. Seconds out. Round two. Jordan a little slow to come off the stool. You can see his problem here, giving away more than a stone and a half, and a couple of inches in height, and a lot of reach. So he's got problems even in getting close to Bruno and every time he tries to get in close he's liable to walk onto something rather unpleasant. Well Jordan comes with the reputation of being a slow starter and all the talk in the Jordan camp when they arrived here was that if they could get past the first two or three rounds then their man would begin to uh, look useful.
Bruno is a magnificent specimen, he really is. You can criticise his mobility, I suppose. And certainly his chin's been shown to be vulnerable a couple of times. But he is a most impressive specimen of manhood, and uh, he does put his weight behind his punching. seems to me these days to be a good deal more controlled than he used to be he's not always looking for the sudden explosive win he's working away here behind the jab and waiting the chances to put the right across and he's giving Jordan no respite no he threw him down Again, Jordan takes it, blinks. Well, at least they found an opponent here who doesn't fold under the first big punch. having to take a few so Jordan shows himself to be a man of strength possibly uh, can punch himself a bit he's had 11 inside the distance wins in his 20 fights been a pro since 19 September 1980 just a few months after Bruno won his ABA title at Wembley so in terms of time he's been a pro longer a couple of years longer than uh, Bruno the ice pack being applied to uh, one of the various lumps and bumps that have appeared on his rather rugged face. Jeff Jordan from Columbus, Ohio. Second out, round three. Again, Jordan a little slow to come off the stool. Bruno mixing punches quite well. I've seen some good jabs. Now the left hook's coming to work. We've seen a couple of good right crosses. Big frown of concentration on Bruno's forehead. <coughs> Again the left hook. Swept past the defending right hand. I wasn't there and Jordan has got very little to offer here except courage I'm afraid being picked off unmercifully and Jordan showing so Bruno is showing surprising speed of punch here moving fast and well and now the Americans got a bad cut above the left eye and he's not going to be able to go very far with that I can tell you He's got a bad cut above the left eye, spurting blood. Round three. I don't think Sid Nathan's really seen it yet, hasn't had a chance to get a good look at it. Quite a nasty cut in a bad place. Nathan giving him every chance. He's seen the cut. We're having a closer look at it now, Sid. All one way traffic and Sid Nathan has now seen enough and Jeff Jordan quite rightly is rescued from further punishment cut above the left eye and being punched from pillar to post around this Arbor Hall ring never had a chance 